As we conclude the course, we're talking about, in parallel with the Kuznets and Posner discussion, uh, the journey to leadership. Um, I think, and we'll be talking about, it's important to understand that leadership is something we evolve into, we're constantly evolving into, you're never really done with becoming a leader. And in the in, in, when confronted with a variety of leadership challenges, you're constantly in learning cycles. And this is kind of the point of the Kuznets and Posner kind of summary of their book as well. In the midst of that, I think it's also worth thinking about that some of the experiences can be very negative or very trying. And that's what I like about uh, Bennett and Thomas um, article is they talk about these you know, very trying experiences and refer to them as crucibles. And crucible is an interesting metaphor because it suggests to us that we're actually strengthened and, and formed in the midst of these experiences. And it's um, really central to their argument that, that we actually emerge as, as leaders through our experiences over time. And they identify some crucibles that, uh, that amongst the, you know, kind of really accomplished leaders. And, and I always want to be a little careful about making too much judgment from accomplished leaders because they may be outliers for a lot of luck reasons as well as experiential reasons. But again, I think they've kind of drilled in on to something that's worth paying attention to. And it is this notion that these crucibles are a really key part of the leadership experience and informing us as, as leaders. As you go through this reading, I'd like you to kind of look for uh, the connection that's here between uh, what is in the Kuznets and Posner, which is actually a sign to follow this. But you're going to see that the Kuznets and Posner also talk about this kind of journey to leadership and the, the formative experiences that you go through that make you a, a better leader. I think one of the things that's interesting about Bennis and Thomas is uh, the discussion of how these individuals are able to preserve leadership um, relationships, important relationships, in the midst of adversity. And some of these relationships are with not very nice people uh, or people who have, have mistreated the individuals. But there's this recognition that in the midst of this adversity, these relationships are going to matter. Uh, they matter at the moment, at the very least. Uh, they may be left behind, but in the moment, they matter. And these individuals talk about ways that they're able to grow as grow themselves, even in opposition to some of the values that they encounter, but to, to not destroy relationships in the process. I think it's very interesting to kind of look at that and really think about what is that. Um, and then there's also this, at the, at the end, they're really talking about you know, what these people have in common is that in the midst of diversity of adversity, uh, these individuals have an ability to define opportunities that, um, that um, help them succeed in the future. And the, the experiences are, are not positive. Sometimes they're emotionally very trying, including for one individual serving a long prison term. Uh, I don't think that's a typical leadership uh, adversity that you're going to encounter. I hope not. Um, but, but that people in the midst of this adversity actually have this capacity to start to recognize opportunities they might not have otherwise seen. And these opportunities are a part of their success in the future. So the basic notion here and, and why we're looking at this is this notion that in your journey to leadership, you're, gonna, you're going to face adversity. How you deal with that adversity can actually be transformative and, and help you be a better leader in the future. But it's all about how you deal with it.